Hello YouTube, this is going to be my first ever Victor Reader video up, video up on YouTube. So, um, right here I have the first generation Victor Reader stream. And I mean, even though without the Wi-Fi connectivity, it's still pretty, it's still pretty nice. So, um, first of all, we're going to go to the key describer, let you hear what all the keys are. Then I'll tell you some more about it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and power this on. There we go. Welcome to Victor Reader. Note one. Now, to get into the key describer, I have to press and hold zero. But let me make sure the volume's all the way up. Okay. Because the older one only went to ten, the newer one goes to fifteen. So, I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold zero. There we go. Now, we're going to start at the very top and work our way down. So, here we go. Go to note. Bookmark. Bookshelf. One. Scroll up. Two. Delete note. Three. Move back. Four. Where am I? Five. Move forward. Six. Menu. Seven. Make sure I did all of them. And of course, on the bottom left, with the power toggle button, pressing it once will toggle you between speed, speed pitch, pitch volume. volume, speed. Now, how, however, you can change that to tone, but I have mine set to pitch, so maybe I'll show you how to do that next. So, to turn off key describer, I'm going to hold down button zero again. There we go. Now, what you want to do, you want to open the menu by pressing 7. Menu, navigation and playback, loop, enable. Now, this is the menu you want to be in. So now just press 2. Audio adjustment mode, pitch. There you go. Now, once audio adjustment mode has been announced, then press 6 to change it. Talk. Now, let's say you want to select this. You would press the confirm key, which is on a bot on the telephone style keypad on the bottom right. Selected. There we go. Now, if I press two again, go through the other options. Bookmark alert. Enable. I keep those on all the time. Sleep messages. Enable. Even though this is actually my first, even though today, I mean, even though being up here is actually my first um, experience with a Victor Reader stream, so. Press two. Key beeps. Enable. Now, if I press eight, it'll bring, it'll cycle back. Sleep messages. Enable. Key beeps. Enable. Now, same thing. If you want to turn those off, you press six. Disable. Press confirm. Selected. Now, when I navigate, Time jump. 30 there's no key beeps. Disabled. So I'm going to turn those back on. There we go. Time jump, 30 minutes. Disable. Time jump, 10 minutes. Time jump, 5 minutes. Disabled. Now see, some of these are disabled. Time jump, 1 minute. Enable. Loop. Enable. Now we're back to loop. So I can press 7 again to go to the next menu, or I can press cancel. So I'll press 7 again and we'll go through the menus. Now this is basically if you're in a book and you want it to skip through like the annotation, the flip note. So I can just press six to navigate through here. On demand. Sorry guys, it's a thing that's so quiet, just because it's an older model. The older one is just so quieter. Now if I press skip. if I press four and six, it'll navigate me between 
different options in this menu. On demand. So I can Skip. I can either have all be skipped. On demand. On demand. Custom. Custom. Play. And play. Skip. Then we're back to skip, which is where I leave it. So I'm gonna select it. Selected. Press two. Sidebar. Skip. Now that I'm gonna keep on skip. So I'm just gonna press seven and we'll go to the next menu. Now, depending on the stream you have, your text-to-speech engines will be different. So on this older Victor Reader stream, you have Vocalizer, but so you have the choice of Samantha or Tom. Tom. Samantha. We're not keeping on semantics, that's, so, that's louder than Tom. Selected. There we go. And you have Braille translation table. I mean, I can change that, but I don't really want to mess with it. Selected. Okay, I'm going to press 7 to go to the next menu. Format SD card. Press 7 again, because we do not want to do that. This is not mine, like I said. Navigation and playback. And now we're back to navigation and playback. So, <clears throat> below the 7 key, on the bottom left of the numeric keypad, there is a cancel key, so I'm going to go ahead and press it. Menu. Okay, there we go. Now, let's say if you wanted to move to, an, to a different folder in your bookshelf. You would press Q1. Bookshelf, notes, and notes. Music, one, book, all music. Now, if you wanted to select this, you'd press play stop. And it will start playing the audio. Now when it's paused, I can press the power button to toggle through the functions. Speed. Speed. Bass. Bass. Treble. Treble. Volume. Volume. Speed. Now we're back to speed. So it's hit number one. Bookshelf. Music. One. Text files. Five. Now we're in text files. Now, I'm going to press 6. Now, I'll show you what each of the um, text to speech voices sound like. So, we're going to read a little bit of this. Please wait. So, we have to wait while it processes the book. It shouldn't take too long. And after it does that, it should start reading. Please wait. There we go. Alright, let's go to Tom, so I'm going to press and hold 7. Tom. Press play. Now see, now see, this version of Tom is is a little bit better than the version of Tom that's on the APH Bookport Plus. This version of Tom is so much is a little bit better, not so much, but a little bit better. So I'm actually gonna switch back to Samantha. Samantha. There we go. Now. Please wait. It's making me wait again. Okay. Oops. Now, if you want to lock your keypad for any reason, just press and hold the star key at the bottom left of the number pad. Locked. Now it's locked. Locked. Now to unlock it, you have to use a keystroke. Like it, <clears throat> it can't be. A, it can't be slow. It has to be fast. Because if you go too slow, it will unlock. So, uh, the K 
keep stroking it to process one, two, three. But you can't do it slow, because if you do. Unlocked. Oh, I guess you can do it slow. Okay. I didn't know you could. I thought you could. I guess I'd do it fast, but. I'm gonna lock it again. Locked. But since I can type fast. Unlocked. There we go. You see, if you do like it, like once I lock it. If you do an invalid entry, locked. it'll just stay locked. locked. So there's no way to unlock it. Locked. Unless the right code is put in. So I'm going to push 1, 2, 3. Unlocked. There we go. Now, let's talk about recording. Now, there's two different ways to record. You can press and hold the, the record button to record a quick message. Or press it once to record a long message. So I'll show you both. Here's quick recording. Start recording. This is a YouTube test of the Victor Reader Stream first generation. Stop recording. And I let go and it stops. 12. I'm going to press the play button, which is in the bottom middle. And fast forward and rewind is. Fast forward is to the right. Rewind is to the left. Play stop is right in the middle. So I'm going to press play stop. Oh yeah, I'm going to press 1 first. Until I hear notes. Okay. Okay, so since I want to go to note, not, note, note 11, I'll show you something cool. So I'm going to press the top left. There's a go to button like below the speaker. <clears throat> well, actually, to make it more simple, the go to button is actually above the number one. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. Go to note. I'm going to type in 11. One, one. Enter. Note 11. Press play. 12. Oh, there is 12. This is a YouTube test of the Victor Reader Stream first generation. That's where there is 12. They want to tell me 11. That's kind of weird. Let me let me try it again. That's what it tells me. Bookshelf notes eleven. Notes. Yeah, that's kind of Music. that's kind of odd. Files. Notes. Notes. Yeah, that's kind of odd. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try rebooting and see what happens. Because sometimes that can help stuff. Okay, let's press one for info. Notes. 11. Notes. No, it didn't change. That's weird. But suppose, but suppose you want to hear that, like you want to know how to use your Victor Reader Stream more. If you press and hold number one, it will open up the user guide. So I'll show you that really quick. Enter user guide. There we go. And Samantha should say user guide. User there she goes. Now, in case you guys didn't hear it, I'll do it again until I was talking. Exit, and like I said, this thing is very... One. Like I said, this thing is very quiet, so you really gotta listen for it. So, press and hold number one again. Enter user guide. User guide. Okay, there it is. Now, I can either press play stop to start. The battery is designed to fit in only the correct orientation. Now, let's just say if we want to do some adjustment, like speed, volume, or pitch, I can just press the power button one time. Speed. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do long recording, didn't I? Pitch. Volume. Speed. Okay, now we're at speed, so I'm going to press the up arrow to speed up a little bit. Right below the power button. Press the down arrow to slow it down. Oops. <coughs> there we go. Pause it. And then, let's just, now let's suppose, what if you're going to fall asleep with this thing playing? Right above your play stop key, there is like a, it's kind of a weird shape. But, that's the sleep key. So if you press it once... 
you get 15 minutes of playback. Twice you'll get 30 minutes of playback. Three times you'll get 45 minutes of playback. Four times you'll get 60 minutes of playback. Press it one more time. Off. Now, I'm going to exit user guide by holding number one. Now, now, suppose you want to record a long message, and not just a quick little message like I just did. All you do, you just pr you don't hold the record button. You just tap it. Start recording. Now we are recording a longer note. So when we're done recording, we're going to press the stop. But we're going to press record again to stop. Stop recording. Note. There we go. Created. Press play. <laughs> now suppose you want to delete that. You can press three. Then find the confirm button on the bottom right of the number pad. There we go. Now suppose if your stream is not working correctly and you want to hard reset it, this is not going to erase any data. So just hold on the power button for seven seconds. You'll hear the stream power off and then immediately power back on. So here we go. Now see if I don't let go, it'll just it'll just power on and off. Or no it didn't. It has to just reset. Okay. Cool. So now we are reset now. I just hard reset it. <clears throat> but like I said, this does not erase any data. So press play one more time. Oops, that's something I do not want to give away. All right, um, I'm gonna hit the go to key at the top left. I'm gonna type in 12. Select. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust the pitch of that. Speed. So I'm gonna hit the. Volume. Oh shoot. Speed. Oh, it must be where I hard reset it. It must have set the. It must have set the audio thing back to tone because it must reset the settings too. I'm gonna press seven. I'm gonna press two. Press six. Pitch. Press confirm. Selected. There we go. Leaving menu. Now I should be able to change the pitch now. Stream first jump speed duration pitch. Now I can press. Oh shoot. Press the up arrow to raise it. This is a YouTube test of the victim. Your stream first generation. End of note. That sounds funny. I can press the down arrow to decrease it. Now I sound like a monster. This is a YouTube test of the Victor Reader stream first generation. Yeah, it's like a monster. Volume. Oops, I gotta go back to pitch. Speed. Pitch. 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 Minus. Pitch. 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 Zero. So I'm gonna delete these notes I just did. <clears throat> this is a YouTube History. test. Confirm. Deleted. Notes. So Austin. Now that one I cannot get rid of and I cannot play because I want to give it away. Okay, we're good. Alright. So, go ahead and power off. So, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And hope you all have a nice day. Oh, yeah, before I let you go. On the top of the stream, there's the there's the USB plug for transferring files.
There's the SD card. If you give it a little push, you click on out, push it again, it'll click in. Then you got the charging port right to the right of the SD card. Then on the right side of the player, on the end of the stream, the Victor Reader stream, there is the headphone jack. Right below it, the microphone jack. Right below it, there's like this rough surface. Then the record key. Then the, another little rough surface. Now on the left side of the player, that's where your power up down arrows are. On the bottom, battery door. On the sides, nothing. On the top, front face. Below, above the go-to key, there is a speaker. Above the bookmark key, there is a microphone. And between the go-to and bookmark keys is an LED light. So if it's charging, it'll tell you if it's charging. And I mean, you'll even get a chime when it's on, so you know it's charging. But I don't think you'll get it when it's turned off. Let me see. I'll try. I don't think you'll get that chime when it's off. But we're going to give it a test right now and find out. So I'm kind of curious to know. I'm going to go ahead now and plug it in. Okay, you do not get any chimes when it's off. But I will go ahead and power it on and show you the chimes. Now see, when a battery charger is unplugged, it'll do this. Then when it's plugged back in, you'll hear this noise. Just like the older, just like the older Victor Readers, like the older Victor Reader Classic, the Victor Reader Pro. So, but this thing's fully charged, I'll show you now. So I hit zero, I'm going to press four two times. Yep, my battery's still good, so I'm not not worried about charging. Canceled. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And before I let you go, I'll let you go with the power-off beep. See you guys later.